This week in Strasbourg, Parliament will endorse the European Union's accession to the Council of Europe's Istanbul Convention, which is the international treaty on violence against women and domestic violence. It's a sad fact that domestic violence is a crime that affects people of every cultural, economic and social background. One in three women experience abuse from their domestic partner or sexual violence at some time in their lives. Most of us who have served as local councillors have dealt with casework on the issue. That experience brought home to me how difficult it is for women to escape from violent partners and how important the women's aid and refuge organisations are in supporting women. These organisations save and transform lives. I'm proud to be able to vote for the EU's accession to the Istanbul Convention. It sends a clear message that violence against women will not be tolerated. It addresses weaknesses and plugs gaps in legislation so that women and girls are better protected across the continent, especially when the consequences of these crimes cross national borders. 44 countries plus the European Union have signed the Convention, including the UK. Unfortunately, the UK has been slow to ratify the Convention so that it can take full effect in UK law. It's all very well talking about taking back control, but this is an issue where the UK government has had full control, but instead it's dragged its feet. Over the coming week, I'll be writing to the organisations working against domestic abuse across South East England to urge them to keep the pressure on the UK government to ratify the Convention. Despite their life-saving work, many refuge providers have had their funding cut in recent years. I want these organisations to know that as well as ratifying the Convention, that their work is valued and that they are assured of my support in their work on behalf of those suffering abuse.